the ASICS Nova Blast, a shoe that has received the highest of praises from the running shoe review elders. A shoe that looks like something straight out of Blade Runner. But wait, we're living beyond the year Blade Runner takes place. Are we really just in a movie? That might explain a lot of things. I digress. The critically acclaimed Nova Blast was neglected by me through 2020 for a couple of reasons, but the day has come and I finally tried the Nova Blast. Let's sit down and speak of the shoe that has the midsole sculpting that will make even Michelangelo jealous. Welcome back to the channel everybody. If this is your first time here, my name is Brendan and on this channel we talk all things running from running shoe reviews to helping the beginner runner get started on their running journey. I myself am a non, non, non elite runner who found running through a weight loss journey and now I'm here to talk to you folks about it on the YouTube channel. Now if that's something you're into, please hit that subscribe button right down below and if you wouldn't mind, let's defeat that YouTube algorithm by hitting the like button. Now let's talk about the ASICS Nova Blast. The ASICS Nova Blast is a shoe that you folks on the channel have been telling me for a long time to go and pick up, but I ignored you. I'm sorry about that. But there was a good reason for that. It was 200 Canadian dollars and guys, you've seen my running shoe collection. I have a lot of running shoes and well, if I would have went and spent another $200, my girlfriend probably would have left me. But this was on sale. I promise I got a good deal, Elaine. I promise it was only 116 Canadian dollars for this ASICS Nova Blast running shoe. I think that's a pretty fantastic deal and a, a deal that I really couldn't pass up just because of the high praises that I've been hearing about it. And from the, the, the descriptions that people have been giving me, it is a shoe that I thought I would really enjoy. Now, did I? Let's get into it. The upper guys is the, the big downside for this running shoe for me. It is so loose. The toe box, while not as wide and roomy as something like the Gel Nimbus Lite number no. two, my feet do, my toes do feel like they're still swimming around in there. Another downside is that the the ankle lockdown just really isn't great for me. I have to be honest. Now, I am going to try to do the runner's knot, but even then, the material kind of like shoots out at the side right around, right where my ankle sits. And it just, it really just kind of allows my ankle to move around and makes it unstable. Actually, my girlfriend was walking behind me when I was getting ready to do, to do my run. And she noticed that my right ankle was kind of leaning in a bit. Like, you know, when you're over pronating, it leans in a lot. She said that she noticed that it was a bit more pronounced in this shoe compared to my other shoes. That's kind of my big downside though, because aside from those annoyances, the upper is very breathable, which maybe isn't the best thing for this time of year. Like you saw the intro, it's, it's snowy and slushy and getting really cold. And well, if I wasn't wearing smart wool socks, I may have gotten frostbite on my little piggies. The ankle collar, if it did have a good lockdown, the amount of padding is very nice. I do appreciate that. And it does have a bit of a supported heel cup here. So if you like that, they do offer that. Okay, there was, there's one more downside that I forgot about. It's not a gusseted tongue. And for me guys, I know gusseted tongues may be a bit more of a new feature on running shoes, but I just, I absolutely love the gusseted tongues. I'm not sure if it is a new feature, but to me it's new. It's in a lot of the shoes that I've been buying recently. But what I find when I don't have a gusseted tongue is that it does contribute to that worst lockdown. In addition to that, when I put on the shoe, the tongue kind of folds over and adds that pressure on the top of my foot. And it's just, it's disappointing. It's just super disappointing. So I think for the next iteration of the Nova Blast, if they could introduce that gusseted tongue like they have on the Gel Nimbus Lite number no. two and kind of just tone it down on the upper guys. You don't need to do so much to make a good upper and maybe try to shrink them down a bit. Now, it could have been resolved if I went down half a size in this running shoe. That could have been a solution. But it, then the issue becomes that there's not enough length in the, in the shoe itself, so my toes get scrunched up. So the upper, well, it doesn't completely ruin the shoe for me. It does add quite a bit of annoyances. And if it wasn't for this upper, I think I probably would have this shoe would be quickly rise to one of my favorite shoes. Although, like I said, we've only done a couple runs, but I have enjoyed them quite a bit. And that is thanks to the midsole. And let's move on to that. So the midsole is that flight foam blast material. And guys, this material is extremely soft and it definitely is part of the reason why my girlfriend noticed my foot, foot rolling in a bit more and it seemed a little bit unstable, just because this is extremely soft. Now, what I've heard from other reviews is that once you put more and more miles into it, that kind of tones down.
But honestly, for me, I hope it doesn't tone down too much because I do really, really love running shoes that have very soft foams. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm in the minority, but I do appreciate when I'm kind of sinking into my shoes. Just that might be because right now I'm doing a lot of base miles. So slower mileage just to build up that aerobic engine, get nice and strong like a diesel truck is, is my thought. That's my thought anyway. But so I do appreciate having a soft foam where I'm sinking into. Now, if this does kind of get stiffened up just a little bit more, I think that would be fine because I could use it for upper tempo days because right now I don't see myself going fast in this shoe by any means. That doesn't mean, that's not because I don't think it could do the job. I just, I have other shoes that would do the job a bit better. Now, so yeah, you can see the sculpting here. They, this makes, the way that they've designed this midsole just makes it so, so, enticing when you see this on the shelf at the running shoe store you're definitely going to go towards this rather than i don't know the latest version of the a6 gt 2000 or whatever they're called looks just like it, the gt 2000 looks like you'd think a running shoe would look like this looks futuristic it looks like it's at a blade runner like i said it looks futuristic and it's fantastic but looks don't mean anything what does it perform like the flight foam blast material, guys, does feel extremely bouncy underfoot. It is soft, so you do sink into it a little bit, but it's nothing like the Clifton 7 where you sink into it and that foam feels dead. No, what this does is you sink into it and it's being decompressed just as fast as you're putting it down. So you're not losing a bunch of energy to, to the foam itself. The foam isn't completely absorbing that energy and just dissipating it into the foam. It's kind of pushing it back up towards you. The curvature of the midsole also helps make this shoe feel very, very nice. Like you're just rolling through that foot strike. Now, if you do, if I were to land on my heel, it definitely did feel a little awkward, but when I kind of forced myself to land in the midfoot here, that roll through through the toe off just felt fantastic, it felt so smooth. The shoe itself weighs in at like 290 grams for my size. I didn't do the specs just because this shoe has had so many reviews. I just, I don't think it's necessary to say right now. Sorry guys. But yeah, so the, the, the shoe itself weighs in at about 290 grams, which isn't too bad, but it doesn't feel like that heavy of a shoe because of the curvature of this midsole I found. Now, the midsole itself, I'm really happy with. I don't have anything too negative to say, just because I could see that if you didn't like softer shoes, this might not be the one for you, if I'm being totally honest. But for myself, I do prefer those softer shoes, that softer landing, and because of that, I don't have anything negative to say. It's still coming back to this upper, just not really being great, if I'm being honest. But the midsole, fantastic job, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Moving on to the oat sole, and you may not be able to see that because of the green screen, but it is yellow. Uh, I'll put some B-roll up here so you can see what I'm talking about. And as you saw, I went out there on a pretty icy day. Now, the first time I ran in this shoe, it, it wasn't icy at all. It was more, it was pretty dry conditions actually, and it didn't matter because either it was but it didn't matter because on both of the days, the traction felt fantastic. There's quite a bit of sole rubber here. And you know what guys, for what this shoe is gonna be used for for me, so for the daily trainer and easy miles, I want there to be a bunch of oat sole rubber because I don't want this shoe to wear down because I don't want to have to keep buying it, especially if I was paying full price at that 200 Canadian dollar mark. I don't think, no, I don't think I'd buy this shoe over and over, but at 116 Canadian dollars, whatever it was, I would definitely buy this again. But the oat sole itself with the amount of rubber in the strategically placed areas, I don't think they could have done a better job in terms of balancing durability and weight and all that stuff that an abundance of oat sole rubber can can introduce like it can make your shoe feel stiff it can make it add a bunch of weight to the shoe but the way that they've done this oat sole rubber i think is fantastic and i don't have any complaints so far there's also i guess kind of a decouple groove towards the heel and I'm not quite sure exactly what they do. If, if you know what the decouple grooves do, please let me know in the comment section down below. I've heard Seth Nemore explain what it is for maybe once or twice, but it just, at this time, it kind of is beyond me. But overall guys, this shoe itself, you were right. I love this shoe. I absolutely am enjoying every single time I put it on to go out the door. Now, it's kind of unfortunate that I picked it up at this time because I am trying to put 50 miles into the Gel Nimbus Light number two. But the Nova Blast is, it's making it hard not to pick this up over the Gel Nimbus Light number two, if I'm being totally honest. Now, there, I am gonna do a comparison video between the Gel Nimbus Light number two and the Nova Blast, just to kind of give my thoughts between the two, but it's, 
this shoe is I'm really really enjoying it and it's kind of reminds me of you know what I think a good comparison would be between the endorphin speed and the noble blast because that's kind of what I'm getting it feels like if the endorphin speed didn't have that nylon plate it would feel pretty similar to the noble blast I'm being honest now the endorphin speed is quite a bit lighter but it, and it is that p -back space material but that's kind of just my initial thoughts what it feels like Actually, when I first picked up this shoe, I had to put on the Nike Next Percent on one foot and the Nova Blast on the other foot just because I thought to myself, like, does this feel as bouncy as the Next Percent? The answer is no, it definitely doesn't feel as bouncy as the Next Percent. But that's kind of where my head initially went. So that just goes to show the magic of the Flight Foam Blast material. It'd be interesting to see if, I don't know if you have seen the ASICS prototypes that Sarah Hall's been using in her recent races, but I wonder if they're using some form of blend of the Flight Foam Blast material in their higher stack racing shoes. That'll be, hopefully we get some more information about that in the, in the coming months of 2021. That would be fantastic. All right, guys, so overall, the Nova Blast, I am really, really enjoying it. And you were right. You were absolutely right. I, I love this shoe. Should have picked it up sooner, but I'm glad I didn't because I saved some money. All right, guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you did like the video, hit that like button as well. It would really mean a lot. Hope you have a fantastic time out there on your runs. Hope you are not slipping on the ice like I almost did today. All right, guys, see you later.